by now, as it was a di Welcome back. Today I am going to give you a quick recap for a movie named, Ambulance. The movie begins with an ex-marine, William, trying to arrange money for his wife's surgery. He contacts his insurance company, but the agents do not take him seriously and are unwilling to help him. Will, gets sad, but he talks to Amy nicely and leaves the house, telling her he has a warehouse job. Amy informs him about the calls from his brother, Danny, but he ignores and asks her to turn on the alarms. Afterward, Cam and Scott, two EMTs, are seen inside their ambulance heading towards a horrible accident site. As the ambulance stops, Cam rushes to help the little girl, Lindsay, stranded inside the car with an iron rod through her belly. Cam deals with the kid courageously and brings her to the hospital in 12 minutes. Subsequently, Will arrives at Danny's place, who is a professional bank robber and thief. Will looks at his car collection, and when Danny arrives and taunts him, Will tells him that he was asked to look after the car. Danny then leads Will to have a coffee, and the duo chats about their dead father. Will spots his father's watch on Danny's hand, after which the duo looks at their old picture and refreshes the old memories. Will admits that he is so thankful to Danny's family for taking him in, but Danny stops him from thinking like that and wishes to see his nephew. When asked why, Will reveals he is here because he needs $231,000 for Amy's surgery, while Danny gets interrupted by his partner, Mel Gibson. When asked, Danny returns Mel, claiming that Will is not the man for whom they are waiting for their job. Soon a man from someone called Poppy arrives with the truck and gives it to Danny before leaving. Willie learns that Danny is planning a robbery with Mel, Randazzo, Trent, and a few others, so he leaves. Danny stops him and convinces him they are carrying the gun for protection. Danny offers $2 million to Will to help with the job and reveals that they are going to steal $32 million from First Federal Bank, and the amount may get transferred tomorrow. He makes Will realize that he is offering the world to him in return for his wish to get a small job. Following that, Scott and Cam are at the hotel when Scott tries to get friendly with her, but she stops him, claiming that he is new there. Scott reveals that he knows she does not like any partner and appreciates her for being the best lifesaver. Similarly, two LAPD officers, Zach and Mark, are inside their patrol car when Mark decides to return to the same bank where Danny and his friends are planning a robbery. They return to see Zach's crush, Kim, and ask her out for dinner. In the meantime, Danny and his team get inside the bank and take their positions. Meanwhile, Zach and Mark park their car outside, and a few LAPD officers in civil dress are stunned to see them. They get the information that Danny and his friends have switched vehicles, and FBI officers contact their boss, Officer Moore. They update him on the situation, and he advises them to wait for some activity first. Zach reaches the bank and finds it closed. Soon, Danny appears as the manager and leads him inside when Zach insists on getting his account. Zach then requests to talk to Kim and asks for her complete name, and Danny makes the one on the spot. Zach expresses his feelings to Kim, but soon he looks at her nameplate and realizes something is sketchy. Before Zach may have done anything, Danny and Will took him to gunpoint and ordered him to wave at his partner to save Kim and his life. Danny and his men then steal 32 million from the bank and are about to leave when Mark spots them and opens his fire. Randazzo tries to crush him but fails, and as Danny and his team come out, the FBI agents dress as SWAT and engage in a firefight. Randazzo panics and accidentally crushes Trent with his truck. Soon, Danny and Will feel the situation is out of their control, so they return to the bank with Zack. Mel and his men fight the FBI and LAPD but unfortunately, they all end up dead. Will and Danny reach the parking lot when Zack finds them distracted and attacks Danny. Will tries to stop him, but he does not get off, so Will has to shoot him. After shooting Zack, Will realizes his mistake and is not ready to leave him alone, while Danny explains everything to him and leads him away. They reach the door but find the police everywhere. Danny decides to make their way out using the guns, while Will is against this idea. Soon, Mark arrives and finds Zack severely injured. He requests medical assistance when Scott and Cam listen to him and note his location. Will and Danny keep the police busy for a while but don't find a way out. Cam and Scott rescue Zack and are on their way out when Danny stops the ambulance and knocks out Scott. He informs Cam about borrowing their car and following whatever he tells her. 
The ambulance is stopped at the end of the parking area, but Danny and Will manage to escape from there with Cam's aid. They leave the building, after which Will takes off the satellite tracker from the ambulance, and Cam works to save Zach. In the meantime, Officer Moore arrives at the crime scene and meets his men, including Mark, who tries to misbehave with his men, but Moore assures him that he will save his partner. Will drives the taxi for a while and stops in a small street where he spots a helicopter on its tail. Will and Danny both get distracted and scared by the helicopter when Kim finds a chance to leave the ambulance using the fire extinguisher, but Danny still stops her and forces her to return as Zach's condition worsens. Moore and his team get updated about the ambulance's location, and he gets ready to follow them. Suddenly, the movie shifts to an FBI officer, Clark, and his gay partner in a therapy session when he gets information about the robbery and leaves the session immediately. On the other hand, Moore meets Dazig, a lady police officer, who informs him that they will have to be very quick as the ambulance is very powerful and the driver is no less than the top F1 racer. Moore quits flirting with her and follows the ambulance, thus ordering her to provide him with information about any communication device on the ambulance. Will drives away in the car, and as they get happy thinking about Rich, the LAPD cars appear from everywhere. Will uses his driving skills and loses the heat while Cam informs them that Zack is not getting better, so she asks Danny to help her when Will is busy dodging the police. Danny assists Cam in giving an electric shock to Zack, and as he gets better, Danny joins Will and witnesses many police cars getting destroyed. Even after that, the police chase their ambulance, and Will mentions that they use Texas Switch in Afghanistan, which includes getting access to a bridge and coming out on four to five identical cars to trick the terrorists. This statement clicks in Will's mind, and he questions Cam about where they hide the keys to their ambulances in the parking area. Danny contacts his father's old friend Poppy and makes a deal with him to provide him with a lifeline for $8 million, which he agrees to. Danny then reaches out to his man, Castor, and asks him to meet him at the location he has sent him with blue paint and a few other things. After that, the LAPD gets information about their location, and Moore sends his men to follow them. Cam notices Zack is running low on blood, so Will donates his blood as he is a universal donor. Mark chases the ambulance and seems concerned for his partner. Danny tries to shoot him to stop his car, but Cam interferes and saves Mark, so Danny gets mad at her. Still, Mark chases the ambulance, and Danny threatens him with hurting Cam if he does not stop and shoots at his car, due to which Moore's dog gets scared. Moore listens to his dog bark and orders Mark to stop. Danny returns to Will, who abstains from hurting Cam, and he replies that it is just a show-off. On the other hand, Clark learns about Danny, requests immediate involvement, and sees Officer Moore. He informs him that Danny is the son of a robber who killed many managers in the 1990s and has robbed 38 banks in the last 10 years. He also claims that once they were friends, Moore took him in. Clark tells him that Danny is too smart and that he joined criminology classes with him, but after two years, he disappeared completely. Cam observes the blood dripping from the stretcher, and upon checking, she learns that Zack has been shot twice. She gets scared, claiming that the bullet may have hit his spleen. Danny uses his phone and finds the number of Dr. Colin, Cam's ex Danny warns him to shoot Cam and orders him to guide her through removing the bullet from Zach's spleen. Colin adds more friends, and the trio guides Cam through the process. Will asks Danny to control the van while he helps Cam. Suddenly, Will listens to the voice of Clark on the phone, and he tries to stop him, but in vain. Cam and Will perform the surgery, and as she is about to remove the bullet, the spleen bursts in her hand, and unfortunately, the line disconnects due to a low battery. Cam gets scared, Will motivates her, and she finds a way to keep Zack alive. Moore contacts Colin and learns that he thinks Zack must have been dead by now, as it was a difficult procedure to be handled by even a surgeon. Moore informs the mayor and his chief of Zack's death. They are on their way to handling the situation aggressively when Clark suggests them to be gentle. Soon, the snipers take their positions and are ready to shoot Will and Danny when Clark contacts Cam on Zack's phone, and she informs him that Zack is still alive. Clark tells her about the sniper, and she warns Will to be careful, and they dodge the bullets. Clark orders him to abort the mission, as Zack is still alive. Danny is pissed at Moore, and when he contacts him, Danny tells him that his job is to protect the hostages. Moore agrees with and manipulates him to show him he is a real robber. 
Will, requests that Danny be calm, but instead, he gives the phone to Cam and shoots around her, thus scaring her to death. Will, loses his calm, and the duo gets into a fight. Eventually, Will, overpowers Danny, and he tells him that they will dodge the police at Boyle Heights, where Poppy's men are waiting for them. Cam listens to their conversation and informs Clark and Moore about their plan. After that, Clark contacts Will and tries to turn him against his brother by mentioning his family and the trouble Danny has created for him. He tells him that he is giving him a chance to walk away, but Will denies his offer, after which Clark contacts Cam and asks her to work on Will. Cam makes an excuse of blood and gets closer to Will when he gets a call from Amy. Amy gets excited when Will lies to her about getting a new job, and she thanks him for being a man for his family. Cam gets emotional after listening to their conversation and blames Danny for the whole situation, but Will does not get trapped. Moore and Clark send their men to stop them and send all their units to Boyle Heights. Will turns the car in the wrong lane, which helps them lose the police cars and make their way to where Castor and Poppy's men are waiting for them. Castor is worried about the scenario, and Danny orders him to paint the ambulance. Danny then allows Will to walk away but denies leaving him alone. Danny meets Poppy's son, Roberto, and looks at their preparation to deal with the situation. On the other hand, Moore and his team wait a few blocks away and get ready for the action. Suddenly, three people who look alike appear from the bridge, and the LAPD gets distracted by them. One of the ambulances gets surrounded, but Castor comes out of it and claims he does not know how he ended up there. Will and Danny drive their ambulance away when Danny contacts Roberto and updates him about their status. Roberto drives an ambulance and destroys C4 inside it after jumping out, which hurts many police officers. Suddenly, they send a car with an automatic gun fixed inside, killing many officers, including more. Clark calls an ambulance and gets on the helicopter to find the real ambulance, while Mark spots Roberto running away and starts following him. Eventually, Mark catches the bullet and blows his head open with it. Poppy gets sad after witnessing the death of his son. Soon, Danny and Will arrive at Poppy's place, where he is very mad at them. Will asks Cam to stay inside the van before leaving to see Papa. The duo meets Poppy and gives his money to him in return for his favor. Poppy is very angry, yet he controls his anger and claims that Roberto's death is a personal issue, not the business, so he keeps it away from their deal. A man comes and informs Poppy about Zack and Cam inside the ambulance. Meanwhile, Zack regains consciousness, and Cam tells him that Will has tried his best to save him and that he has his blood in his veins. Zack then finds a gun under his leg and gives it to Cam in case of any danger. Will and Danny are on their way out when Poppy stops them and orders them to leave Cam and Zack here. Will is stunned to listen to this while Danny accepts the offer and tries to convince Will. Will tells him that he cannot do this and is staying with Zack and Kim Danny feels frustrated as Poppy is ready to kill them. Danny changes his mind and plays a trick on Poppy, and the duo kills all of Poppy's men and eventually Poppy himself. Will and Danny return to the bus fighting Poppy's men, but Cam accidentally shoots Will. She regrets her mistake, but when Danny arrives, she lies and says she doesn't know who shot Will. Will drives the ambulance away while Cam tries to protect him, but he gives her some to pass on to his wife because she needs it for her surgery. Cam is very sad and tries her best to keep him alive while Danny gets the ambulance surrounded by police and does not understand what to do. Clark exits his car and orders the snipers to wait as he wants to talk to Danny. At the same time, Danny finds the gun inside and learns that Cam shot Will. He gets mad at her and tells her that they are going to die together because he is going to kill her on live TV. Danny approaches the door and orders Clark to get his men away, otherwise, he will kill her. He claims that his brother is a good man and he is dead because he tried to save them. As Danny opens the door, Will shoots him from behind and saves Cam. The police arrest Will and wait for him to die while Danny passes away, apologizing to his brother and recalling when they played together. Amy arrives there and asks everyone to save her husband. Cam returns to Will and convinces Mark to help her save him by stating that he saved his partner. The police take Will to the hospital, and Cam hides money in Amy's belongings when everyone is distracted. Then, Will and Zack are at the hospital when Clark asks Zack to identify the attacker, but he looks at Will and claims that he saved his life. 
Will is at peace after looking at his family and the money he gave to Cam, and the movie ends when Cam leaves the hospital and walks away. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe.